One way Champaign and Urbana residents can celebrate Earth Week is by coming to Common Ground, located in the Urbana Mall. Good morning, Illini. I'm here at the Armory with the Rip Chords, an all-female a cappella group. They're inside this classroom right now. Let's check it out. Zika and Sophia will play leading roles in Sleeping Beauty starting May 4th at the historic Virginia Theater. Relive the glory days, and what better way to celebrate homecoming than an Illini cheer practice? Let's get started. <laughs> Earth Day is this Sunday. Local environmental groups are preparing to raise community awareness. Here at the U of I, students for environmental concerns have planned daily Earth Week events. I just want to inspire people to be more sustainable and to care more about the environment because that's actually how they shaped me into like the person that I am today. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the student group, which encourages everyone to observe meatless Mondays. It's okay viewing meat, but just agriculture in general um, uses so much water and causes so much pollution. So um, it would be awesome if everyone could just like not eat meat on Mondays. Sustainability requires shopping locally and buying seasonally grown produce from area farms like Sula Gratia Farm. Director Tracy Barkley wants the community to know their mission. We're very mindful of how we plant our crops, how we treat our crops, um, taking care of the system at large, you know, the soil, the water, the um, plants themselves. Barclays Farm sells their products to local restaurants and grocery stores and sells at every local farmer's market. One way Champaign and Urbana residents can celebrate Earth Week is by coming to Common Ground, located in the Urbana Mall. Promotions coordinator Sam Eim wants the community to become informed of sustainable farming beyond Earth Week. It's funny that it's Earth Week because every week is Earth Week here. And that's the difference uh, about between the co-op and any typical grocery stores. Every week's Earth Week for us and for our farmers because what we do hinges upon the impact that we have on the Earth. In Urbana, I'm Sarah Olin. UI7 News. Ballet has been a favorite hobby for millions for over 600 years. The Champagne Urbana Ballet helps children and teenagers foster their love for this art form. One of these dancers, Sophia Ebel, has performed ballet for 13 years. It's exhausting and it can be stressful sometimes, but it's also really energizing when something goes right and when I can see myself improving or when I am able to successfully convey a message and tell the audience something and make them feel something. Ballet is a challenging hobby. Sophia and other dancers spend 20 hours per week practicing after school. Another CU Ballet dancer, Isaac Lee, explains how this challenging hobby has changed him. It's kind of made me a better person in general. Like, it's taught, it's taught me like respect, it's taught me a lot of things that you can't really describe. And it's just, kind of, it's just kind of made me be aware of myself and like aware of the people around me. Both Isaac and Sophia danced here most of their lives. They have been in performances together and even carpool to practice. Executive Director Kay Green watched these two transition from minor to leading roles. And they love what they do and so it's hard for it not to be contagious. You know, it becomes very infectious and you want to be part of it. And you just feel so blessed to have this special little piece of their life that they're going to remember. Zika and Sophia will play leading roles in Sleeping Beauty starting May 4th at the historic Virginia Theater. For UI7 News, I'm Sarah Olin. Good morning, Illini. I'm here at the Armory with the Rip Chords, an all-female a cappella group. They're inside this classroom right now. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. These talented ladies perform all over campus. I tried to gain some Aka skills, starting with the warm-up. Mommy made me mash my M&M's, I cried. Mama. <laughs> Mommy. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Made me mash my M&M's. <laughs> I asked my good friend Rayleigh Mock for some okay. beatboxing tips. Okay. All right. Pretend that you say puppies. <laughs> puppies. I 
feel like you need sunglasses when I do it though. I need <laughs> I'm here with Alyssa, brand new to GMI and first time on camera. Yes, hello. <laughs> I can show you the thing that we call like an aqua bop. So if you have like a step and snap, it's always okay. the way to go. Step and snap, yes, there we go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna show me how low you can go. Yes. This is pretty low, this is what we're singing. This is that, yeah. <laughs> Okay, 11 years is so long, but we sat in on a chief workshop where event organizers discussed the future of this debate. Well, if you aren't into swing dancing or Dance Dance Revolution, you can still get into dance this year and help raise money for a great cause. James is joined by someone's special guest to learn about Alignathon. Halloween was Tuesday and the UI7 News team did a special edition they called the Humans of Halloween. Yes, and all the stories are focused on the spooky holiday, and one of them stuck out to us as the perfect fit for this week's show. TMI's very own Anike Awoye is pulling the double duty this week as she takes you to zombie prom. So Jane, we are back here from spring break. Unfortunately, yes, it's 40 degrees colder than it was where we were. I know, you were in Florida. Yes, and you were in Los Angeles. Yes, both sunny places. And now it is not sunny. <laughs> and we're looking ahead tonight, if you are at all walking around, you definitely need a coat. It is 35 and cloudy with 15 mile per hour winds which is a little not ideal for April 5th. So perfect, there is not a cloud in the sky. I am loving life today. I love sun, so absolutely this is the perfect day for unofficial. The Illini definitely need to look out for forward Ethan Happ on the Badger's end. He leads a team in almost every category. This guy is good. 17.5 points per game and 8.5 assists per game. Now we will go outside of Champaign for a look at the NBA. The NBA trade deadline has officially passed and the Cleveland Cavaliers took the opportunity to completely blow up their team. The Cavs traded six players today, that is right, six, highlighted by Isaiah Thomas and Dwayne Wade. Thank you, Illinois weather, for finally warming up. However, you're only making it harder to leave this campus. 